polite and refined. Cheeky. Bit more chooch. Insane power. Mmm, balloons. Brain food. Random stimulation for the brain. Oh hi, didn't see you there. Just putting the finishing touches to my new lighter. Now, this won't be my usual how to build something video because potentially this is quite dangerous and I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt trying to recreate this. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to show you how it works. So this is that. Okay, the main gas bottle goes on here. This is a special adapter, it's been modified. There's no valves or anything to get in the way, so you're gonna get maximum flow from this. Down here, that goes into this first gas bulb, and I use that for safety between gas changes so I can lock everything off, so there's no air or oxygen mixing with this tank at all. The gas then flows up into this fire extinguisher, pressurizes it, so we've got a full tank of plenty of capacity here for the gas. It then goes down to a T-piece, one side of which goes to this valve here and I can control the flow of the main burner here. So anything from a very small flame up to an absolutely enormous flame. So that's all done with this and it goes to this half inch solenoid. I know half inch is slightly over the top but that means there's no restriction to the flow at all off this thing. From there it goes all the way up to the burner. Meanwhile off the other side of the T that goes round to a quarter inch solenoid and that goes then through a gas regulator which goes to the pilot light and that initially lights that. Now you're probably wondering why we have this complicated setup. Well the answer is easy, I want maximum power. These two solenoids are timed differently. I need this smaller burner here to ignite this because there's so much gas volume coming out of it, you cannot ignite it with a spark or anything else. You need a gas torch to light the gas torch. And that brings us to this time delay relay. And the whole purpose of that is to fire this half a second earlier than we find that fire the main burner. So this solenoid is instantaneous and that one has a delay and that's going to give absolutely the maximum power that we can get out of the thing. From an electronics point of view, everything's powered from this 12 volt battery. That goes into the time delayed relay. From there, we've also got the sparker, which is here, it's 20,000 volt sparker, and the voltage gets knocked down from 12 to five, and I've even built in some handy USB ports in case I need to charge my phone up. Here's the burner setup. here's the pilot, that's the sparker, and this is the main burner. And for tuning, we can actually undo this. And I've bored out the main gas jet. That used to be half a millimetre, now it's about three millimetres. So you're going to get one hell of a lot more gas through that. To take it one step further, we can even unscrew that and go with the absolute full width, which is about five mil. And that's an enormous amount of gas. Now obviously safety is the number one priority so you've got to build in some sort of safety feature and this is how I've done it. It doesn't matter if you press this, without this depressed it just won't fire. So there's two switches, that's your safety and that controls the electronic ignition and the gas. Now I know you're thinking the exact same thing as me, let's see the damn thing working. So this is going to be the first time ever I've operated this fully built. So let's see if it works. Are you ready?
or even on, I think. I don't know. Let's see. Fairly natural. Well guys, that's it for this video. All I need to do now is fine tune the design and build in a sports mode option. Meanwhile, if you have any suggestions or things you'd like me to burn with the lighter, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.